everybody, today we're going to make these super cute unicorn ears and bedazzly sparkly horn. I'm, don't worry, I'm going to be putting all of the list of, I was going to say ingredients, it's not ingredients, supplies in the description down below. I'm also going to put the link to this template here as well. So I've got three shades of felt, white for the horn and pink and blue for the ears. That glitter glue I've got there is going to be spread on the horn. Here we go, the silver and purple. I added another colour to make it prettier and spread it, let it dry and ta-da! So what we're going to do is we're going to use a little ear template to draw out the shape of the ear and then cut it out until you have two of each, so two pink and two blue. And I only did this because I wanted a different colour on the inside than the outside but you can use the same colour. So what you're going to do next is you're going to sew all the way around um, of the edges leaving the big flat one at the bottom open so you've got a pocket. Um, I only did about half a centimeter in. And then when you've done that we're gonna snip off all the pointy edges. Turning them off it just makes it a lot easier when you actually go to turn it inside out because otherwise it sort of bulges. So what we're gonna do now is once you've got all your smoothed edges is we're going to turn it around so that the seam is central, like right down the middle. And then we're just going to pin it to make it easier for ourselves because no point making extra work, you don't have to. I'm going to stitch in about half an inch to an inch on one side and then about five eighths across from the right. So this will be a lot easier if you're using a sewing machine. This will take you like half a minute. Um, if you're stitching, hand stitching like I was, then it's going to take a little bit longer, but you could knock this out. Oh, wait, about an afternoon. So I stitched one side and then I'm going to go five eighths, so not quite three quarters because we don't want it to join up in the centre. We want to be just on the other side of the seam. And then once we have all of that tidied up, and you don't have to use blue thread, I did that just so you could really see what I was doing. So you get your tiny hole and you're just going to turn it inside out and sometimes this can be a bit of a struggle but just keep poking it, it'll you know, make its way through eventually. This is where you would notice if you hadn't actually rounded off your corners it would have ended up sort of bulgy and weird um, so that's why we did that. But here you're going to take your little hole, your loose edge and you're going to sort of fold the lips in to match the rest of it and then just stitch along that. I'm going to tell you, because I forgot to do it here, is when you have this stitched, you basically flatten it out and then poke the blue into the pink so that it's a nice horsey ear shape. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to film it here, but I did film it in my fox ears video, so I'll put a little annotation link so that you can go and check that out to our sparkly unicorn horn. So we'll get our templates and we're just going to put them down here from our sort of triangular shape here which is the length of the cone and then the little circle which is our base. So we're just going to draw around those and then cut them out. And first we're going to deal with the long bit part, the triangle. So we're going to fold that over and we're just going to stitch that all the way down and then turn that inside out with our ears. And then we're going to take some embroidery thread and we're going to put that inside the cone and just pull it through so it's dangling out one end. I'm just double checking here to make sure that my circle fits. Now we're going to lightly stuff the cone. I used old wool from an old fox video but you can use wadding or stuffing or anything you like. But we're going to lightly stuff it and then we're going to stitch the circle onto the base. And then this is where the shape of the horn really starts to take place. We're going to wrap the thread from the top down the cone. As you can see, I didn't do it quite tight enough here and it didn't quite look so. This happens, don't be alarmed. Here it is a bit properly, that's me properly squeezing and pulling. And then once you've got that, we're just going to stitch it in at the bottom so that it's sorted. I like to stitch it in nice and tightly so that it you know, keeps its lovely shape. But there we have it, a lovely sparkly unicorn horn. Although I'm thinking if, you, if I'd used a glittery thread all the way down would have looked so much cooler. Here's a hairband. 
Word to the wise, use a chunky one, not a thin one. But you you make do with what you have. Put a little dab of glue on the bottom of each piece of felt, and then slapping that onto the bottom of the horn and each of the ears. So I do that for each of them and just slap it on nice and tight and wait for it to cool down. There you go, see? You can stitch these on. I didn't because I'm lazy. So what I'm doing here is I'm just gluing it then onto the headband. You can see what I mean about maybe using a chunkier one. So then I glued each of these on so the ears are next, spreading the glue all over the top of the hairband so that it sticks. And do that for either ear. And then once you've done that, you're going to fold them over and glue them. Now this is the don't burn yourself part, which I totally didn't do because I am always safe. I have a unicorn head set thing. And if you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos, then subscribe. And I will see you all again next time. Bye bye.